Hello, welcome back to another video on Scratch. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make tic-tac-toe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sprite with different costumes for the X and O state. So what I've just done is made a black border which will become the uh, the edge of the board and I've just filled it in with white and now I'm going to make different costumes for the X and the O so I'll just hit duplicate up here and make an X and then I'll resize it to make it fit better and then I'll do the same thing with the O now we're going to say when the green flag is clicked we'll switch it to uh, costume 1 when the sprite is clicked, we want it to switch costumes, uh, depending on whose turn it is. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm just going to call it turn. And at the beginning, I'm going to set it to 1. And now here, we're going to have an if-then-else statement. So what we're going to basically do is say, if the turn number is equal to 1, then we'll say, player 1 is x. So we want to switch costume to costume 2, which is X. And then otherwise, it must be the other player's turn. We're going to switch it to costume 3, which is O. And now the next thing we want to do is switch the turns when this happens. So here I'm just going to say set turn to 2. And here I'm going to set it back to 1. Now you can see turn is 1, so I click it and there's an X. And now turn is 2, so I click it, and there's an O. I also want to enclose this in an if statement to make sure that it's blank. Otherwise, we can turn X's into O's. I'm just going to say if the costume number, which is actually up in the corner here, if it's equal to 1, then it's on this costume, which means nobody's gone there yet. So if the costume number is equal to 1, then we can do this stuff. Okay, so now you can see I clicked and it gave me an X. But then I tried again and it didn't do anything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of clones of this sprite. And we're basically just going to clone it all around the screen in a 3x3 three three grid. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to drag it to different places and then I'll go into motion and this will be set to the current coordinates of the sprite and then I'm just going to create a clone and I'm going to do that in a 3x3 three three grid. I'm going to run it every once in a while to make sure that it actually works properly. Now once I have three I can just duplicate this. The Y is going to be the same, and I can just change the X. And there we go, there's our tic-tac-toe board. Uh, if I click, you can see that I can uh, fill up the tic-tac-toe board, and then I can't click on anything that's already full. But I haven't checked if anyone wins or not. In order to do that, uh, I'm going to have to figure out which are turned on and which are turned off. And I'm going to do that using a list. X's and O's. Uh, I'm just going to add nine elements to it that are just zeros. And now in here, we just need to say replace a certain item with X or with O. And so now we need to figure out which item it is, which will be using the coordinates. Well, we just need to make a function that turns the coordinates into which piece they're in. And we'll start in the negative negative, then go in this sort of zigzag pattern. And so these are about 164 apart. If we divide the x coordinate, of the mouse 164 then we'll get about a number between negative 1 and 1 and to make sure we can round it 
around this. And we can do the same thing for the mouse. Why? Except the mouse Y will be divided by 104. And then we're just going to multiply that by 3. And we also want to make these between 1 and 3 instead of between negative 1 and 1. So we'll add 2 to each of them. And now we'll multiply the y by 3 and add it to the x. So basically why we're multiplying by 3 is it goes 3 across before it gets to the next y. So when we go up 1y, our uh, value will be going up by 3. This is the item number we want to replace. And so now if I hit the green flag, it fills up with zeros. Here if I go here. It's at 4. Now why is it at 4 instead of 1? Well that's because when we were adding 2 to here, we were putting it between 1 and 3. Which means this is 1 times 3 plus 1, when it should be 0 times 3 plus 1. So we just need to add 1 instead. And also this array keeps filling up with values every time we play. So to prevent that, we'll just say delete all of X's and O's right at the beginning. So now if I click there, that's 7. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. So now... I need to uh, make the algorithm that'll figure out if anyone's won. So I'm gonna make a block. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it check win. And here, there are a few different cases we have to consider. First are the vertical, and then the horizontal, and then the diagonal. And so I'm just gonna do that and three different parts. So first, let's do the horizontal, which is pretty easy, because it's one to three, four to six, or seven to nine. I'm gonna use a repeat loop, and to figure out where I am in this repeat loop, I'm just gonna make a variable, call it index, and we're gonna set it to zero here, change it by one in the repeat loop. And now, in order to check this bottom row, you know, if I'm going to do this in general, I like to start with a specific case. So in the bottom row, it's going to be item 1. We need item 1 to be equal to item 2. And we also need item 2 to be equal to item 3. And also, we set all of these to 0 at the beginning. So if this was just the formula, then we would have automatically won right at the beginning nobody would have automatically won because they're already set to zero and zero is equal to zero. So just to make sure of, of that, I'm just going to say the item one is equal to zero. So this will check if it's zero. And we're going to say not that. So this will check when it isn't zero. And then we'll just and this onto here. You know, we'll put that in an if statement. So if that's true, we'll break. And now the next one is going to be 4, 5, and 6, which is just 3 plus this. So I think we can just multiply the index by 3. So I'm going to put this index here at the bottom, and then we'll say index times 3 plus some number. That'll be 1, 2, or 3. So I'll say plus 1 there, plus 2 there, so that is equal to that, and this, which I'll put here, is also equal to 3. And in here we're just going to say broadcast x wins, or broadcast o wins, and we're going to use if then else statement to check that. So if this item is equal to x. And we're using capital letters there. Capital X. 
then we'll broadcast. X wins, otherwise O must have won. Okay, so the next thing we want to check is the horizontal, is the vertical, sorry. And we're going to do that by checking items 1, 4, and 7, and then 2, 5, and 8. So we're basically adding 1 to each item this time. And so I'm really just going to duplicate this script. I don't need the extra change index. And I'm going to keep it in the same repeat loop because we're still doing it three times. So we can just use the same index. So index times 3 plus 1 is still going to be uh, right for the first time. But after that, no. We need to get rid of this index times 3 and just put index and then we're going to be adding uh, 1, 4, and 7. Alright, so for, there we go. So basically this will check vertical and now we just need to check diagonal which I think I'm just going to do separately from the for loop. We're still going to use a similar if function or two of them I should say one for each diagonal. But here we're just gonna be checking specific items. So let's start with bottom left to top right. So this should be item one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So item one equals item five, and item five equals item nine, and item one doesn't equal zero. And we'll just check if item one equal to x. Now we need to duplicate this to use to do from top left to bottom right. We're going to say item 1, 2, 3. And we'll change this to 3 as well. It's equal to still 5. And 5 is equal to 6, 7. Item 3 is not 0. And now if I go, I'm going to try to make x win. And of course nothing happens because I haven't hooked up this check win to anything. So I'm just going to say check win whenever the, uh, the sprite is clicked and costume number is 1. And then I'm just going to say here, when I receive O wins, hide. And also when I receive X wins, hide. But we also want to uh, show at the beginning so that it's not just completely hidden. We can hide this X's and O's list though. So now I'm just going to try this and nothing happened. So 7, 8, 9 are all X. So that should be checked by this first one here. So when index is 2, 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7, 2 times 3 plus 2 is 8, and 2 times 3 plus 3 is 9. So here I've forgotten to set the item number properly. So we'll just use this one and this one. There we go. So now hopefully X will win. Oh dear. Taken out the check one for debugging and forgot to put it back in. Now you can see they all hid. There we go. Good. And now in the background, a new backdrop for when X wins. X wins. And then another one for when O wins. And then we'll just add a few little scripts to make this run properly. Read the flag clicked. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. And then when I receive O wins, we can switch the backdrop to backdrop three. Receive X wins. Switch it to backdrop two. Hide these. And now let's try playing. Alright, so first we're going to test the horizontal, that works fine. Maybe we'll test it at the bottom as well. There, good. Now we can test diagonal. Oops. There we go. And then um, vertical. Perfect. Okay, so there's your tic tac toe game done. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you, and I hope 
I can see you in the next one. Goodbye.